Hey guys, it's Nikki here, and today I'll be doing a review on Abby Bomb and Vocals Rule. My dad bought it for me this morning, and let me just say what a beautiful wake up this was. So, I really like this doll because she is super sparkly, and it looks like someone dipped her in glue and threw in a bag of sparkles. But that's okay because I love sparkly things. So, before I begin reviewing the doll, I will show you the box. So, here's the front of the box. Over here, it says Ghoul's Roll. There's the Monster High logo. It says Monster High along the side. And there is Abby Abominable. And there's the Ghoul's Roll DVD at the bottom there. And inside, it says, Check out this scary cool costume that I wear in the movie. Can't wait to see the movie. Here's the back of the box. It says Monster High, be yourself, be unique, be a monster. And there's the Monster High logo. It says Abby Abominable, daughter of the Yeti. And there are the ghouls, Claudine, Draculaura, Frankie, Cleo, and Abby. And here is a little paragraph. I'll read it for you. It says, This year we want to pay the tribute to the ghosts of Halloween past by rocking some old school haunt couture. These are fashions that monsters, even our parents, used to wear back in the night when they were still cool. The fashions, not our parents. I mean, our parents had to be cool too. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been haunting in such scary, sweet styles, right? Anyway, we've had the beast time digging through history, and we think the past looks pretty good on the present. Don't you? So that's it for the box. Let's get to the doll now. Alright. So here is the beautiful Abby. So I'm going to begin by showing you her hair. Her hair is a lot different than most Abby's. I, they took the streaks, all of the streaks, and pulled them to the side of her head over here, see, and tied it. You can see that. And she has a headpiece that uh, is fuzzy and it has a little icicle piece in the middle and it's sparkly and blue of course and for her makeup she has purple eyeshadow and around near her eyes is like a snowflake sign and she has pink sparkly lips and for her beautiful outfit let me just show you that she has a top like a piece at the top for her shoulders kind of like shoulder pad sort of things and they are big icicle round pieces and they're all sparkly blue and there's some pieces on her neck too and see it looks like this let me just show you the back of it see goes from the back too and for the front well for the part first part of her dress the top part she has like see-through nylon for her sleeves and on her chest and there's a top that covers up her little uh, chest and bust and it's white with little sparkles on it very icicle looking and her mask she has a pink well purplish pink mask and it kind of looks like a ski mask since she is from the snow and little icicles at the top and it looks like it's dripping ice and on her wrist she has big fuzzy pieces of fur and she has a little belt that is like an ice piece. It goes all the way around, see? And it has little drip ice strips going down with little snowflake designs in them. And here is her skirt. It is layered. The first layer is of just, it's transparent and it's of snowflakes, like a snowflake design, it's all shiny and sparkly. And then the second layer is pink and they look kind of ripped at the bottom and sparkly. And the third layer is black sparkled crinoline to keep the dress all poofy. So that's it for the skirt. Now let's get to her freaky fabulous awesome shoes. So her shoes look like just ice. At the top, they are, whoops, almost dropped her. They are just like, they look like fuzzy, but they're actually like, looks kind of like icicles in a round sort of all the way around her ankle. And it's all sparkly, of course. And she has a little, at the bottom of her heels, they're really high. They look like a pearl type of shoe. And they are, like, looks like she has her foot frozen in ice. And uh, little ice pieces at the front. And her heels look like stacked up ice cubes, see? And, yep. So that's it for the doll. Now I'm just going to get to her accessories. So she came with this little cake. I'm pretty sure it's a cake. And it has little spiderweb designs on it. 
Let me just show you that good. See? And it has little spider web designs on it. And, oops. See? And it has a green plate. And there's spider web on it with a little top hat. It's a purple cake. And at the bottom, look at this little guy. It's like the guy on the slippers for the dead tired. You see him? So cute, right? And this is what holds it up. It's two skeleton hands, which is really cool. See? So yeah, you can put that on the cake and hold it up. And she came with her little trick-or-treat bag, like all the ghouls rule. And it has her little Monster High skelet in the front with the earmuffs. If you see, because that's Abby's skelet. And it's purple, of course, her little trick-or-treat bag. And yes, she does come with a stand. And the stand is black. And she comes with a brush, too. Oh, let's just fix that up. Okay. So that's it for my Ghouls Rule Abbey Abominable review. Be sure to subscribe to me, leave a comment, like this video, favorite, and don't forget to watch my other videos. Oh, and share too. I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.